Oh my god! We're gonna get wet. We're so gonna get wet. <laughs> this is pencil Andre. This is our fish and this is our fridge. Our fish is bigger than our fridge. <laughs> I hate making promises. We're gonna try to go into Bratislava, but it's been a long time since we've um, <laughs> done this kind of thing, eh? It's such a busy train. We can always just go to McDonald's and fake it. <laughs> you know, we don't have to tell anybody we went to McDonald's. I tell you what, you take these stairs, I'll go around. You see this first? I think I need another ice cream to make it up here. Ooh, ice cream field. I might, I might just inhale this beer. That is a beer. Cheers. Cheers. Dude, one guy's sitting, his feet are dangling. Oh, he's probably getting tired. The other down, guys but... are standing. Oh, Absolutely bro. insane. I guess they don't have height issues. Yo. Good morning and welcome to Hungary, but not for long. Today we are doing something exciting. But firstly, we're going to be heading over there. Wait, wait. Are you making promises? I'm making promises. If you haven't seen our last video, we were on the border of Hungary and Slovakia fighting off a massive heat wave. We stumbled across this incredible, incredible place, but you've got to watch the previous video to see that. So today we're going to cross over into Slovakia, go and do some shopping on that side, not necessarily because it's cheaper, but because we're lazy and the prices least are in Euro on that side of the border. It's so bizarre. You just drive across the bridge there and then it's Euro that side, this side is foreign. So very exciting. First time we're going to try the new suspension upgrade. Fingers crossed we make it up the hill. Welcome to our channel. We're Andre and Lisa. Over the last 20 years, we have traveled together in more than 40 countries. Five years ago, we embarked on a long-term sabbatical and have been nomadic ever since. For most of the past two years, we have been exploring Western Europe with our motorhome. This year, we plan to make our way through more of Europe towards Denmark for summer. We'll be heading south for winter and just maybe make it to Morocco. So hit that subscribe button and join our adventure. Now, Ooh. I missed the train and look at the sunflowers. Humana, people to people. Now this is pretty cool. We've been carrying around some clothing and shoes and things to get rid of, but I hate to just throw things away. This allows you to donate shoes, clothes, and dresses, and at least the stuff can go to somebody who can use it. Bye, Bye. shoes. Bye. Cool. The okay, first uh, stop of the day. Lisa's favorite. <laughs> This is priorities. <laughs> I'm just thinking, oh, what kind of veggies are we going to put in the freezer? You couldn't find any greens to put, put in the freezer, so now we have to buy ice cream. Okay, grab it. ice cream and we're going. So as always, that was the easy part. The interesting part is getting all the stuff back into the van. And what makes it more interesting, Lisa decided that we can fit a 1.2 kilogram piece of salmon that wasn't special. <laughs> this is our fish and this is our fridge. Our fish is bigger than our fridge. <laughs> Quick stop for water. Uh, we stopped this garage. It seems like in um, Slovakia it's a little bit more tricky. The thing is we found that if you ask a lot of times, we will give you water, no problem. Sometimes it's uh, you know, nice to have an extra canister like this. We can at least carry 40 liters like this with us. That'll be good for two days. Nice. 
just a little bit too late in the day to go and cross with a ferry. We don't really know where to go once we get to the other side. So we've decided to stop over here. Beautiful little place. Now if you don't know, this area is just incredible for cycling. Now we are... Ha! Huh, that dotted line is the ferry crossing. So here you can see this pink cycle route is actually a cycle route to Bratislava. Look at this cycle lane in both directions. And you can go almost anywhere by bicycle. There's me! Hello! Much I like fish, there's one massive problem cooking salmon. In a camper. Delicious salmon. <laughs> Salad, olive bread. My favorite, fresh olive bread. Mm. Good night. Cheers. See you tomorrow. Don't know what's happening tomorrow, but <laughs> this is where we are. I want to say good morning. It's not good morning. It's good noon. It's good windy noon. Yeah, yeah, because we were just about to take the bicycle down and go for a cycle to the Danubia. Danubia, I think it's called. But of course, the moment I, I like open the door, this happened. Ooh. Hold on to your hat. Do we really want to be on a bicycle in this wind? We're going to get wet. We're so going to get wet. <laughs> this is pencil wonder. Even if it doesn't rain, the wind's going to make it very unpleasant. And it's gonna pick up. I tell you what, you can make the call. Oh, that's a bad idea. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Keep okay, Mali, be good. We made it to the little port here in Kaselika. Now this is a free ferry. And it's really cool. They've got 10 places reserved here for residents, so they get priority. And then everybody else falls in a queue and it's first come, first serve, but it's entirely free. Here comes the ferry. Man, I hope we don't get rained on. I'm going to be in so much trouble if we do. Just now we committed, now we're on the wrong side of the river, or the, the south bank of the river. And the only way to get back is to take this ferry. Yep. Hey babe. Yep. I was swimming. I think this is a cycle lane. <laughs> Nobody else here. It's beautiful though. Ooh. Beautiful. Well, we probably just crossed the river here. Quite wide actually. Now this runs into a dam, which we may or may not get to. Cheers buddies. Ooh. Oh cool. The weather is not clearing. What? <laughs> yeah, well, it looks like it's raining over there, eh? That's where the blue sky was. Oh, no, it's raining. Uh oh. Oh, it's raining. This is not good. Oh, jeepers. Okay. It's raining. We have 10 kilometers to go. Yeah, this is a terrible, terrible situation. Oh. Well, what time's the next ferry back? Should we Oops. go around? What do you think? Should we just go? No, I think we've got to keep going. I don't know. Okay, it's getting worse. Seriously, this is not good. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. Five kilometers back that way. Ten kilometers this direction. That's where we are. <laughs> the good news is the sun's up. The bad That's news slowly. is we need to go that way. Oh gosh, Lisa, what did you make me do? <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I'm ready for my iced coffee now. <laughs> iced coffee. <laughs> I'm the ice. Yeah, I don't think this is a smart decision. This is a bad, bad call. It was a really bad move, yeah. We made a mistake. We should have turned around straight away when it started raining. But then you don't know. You don't know. Are you missing out? Maybe it stops raining. But it's just terrible. Look at how they turn. So incredible. 
This is it's, uh, so cool. We've just stumbled across. I don't know what this is. This event. The, Slo the Slovakian Canoeing Championships. Something like that, but it's just incredible how maneuverable these boats are. At least the sun's out. I think if it didn't rain, it would have been fun all the way. Yeah, I suppose the highlight was watching the, the slalom canoe guys. <laughs> that was really quite cool. Interesting sport, that. It's a lot more fun being dry. Well, I'm dry now. You should probably still wet. <laughs> I might get dry soon. I just like hold my sh shirt in the air like a balloon. I think we made it. And we're back. Woohoo! Of course now the sun's shining. Look so. at this gorgeous, gorgeous day. I mean, it just if anybody told me, I would say we fabricated the rain. <laughs> it's bizarre, actually. <laughs> and we are only ooh, 33 kilometers in. But well, we're not back yet. more than I expected. Back to the van! <laughs> do, 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 no, yeah, I don't even know where we are. Somewhere on that side of the bush. We first have to find a bridge. Hello, Millie. Are you you're even getting some sun there? Back at Millie. Oh. You're stuck, you're there. Pull it together! That's the right reason. Now is your phone. Hmm. We on the move. Sun's out, rain stopped. I hate making promises, we're gonna try. To go into Bratislava, but we figured what might be the best option is to go to a park and ride in the north, and then take the train. There's like every half an hour, there's a train, it takes about 16 to 20 minutes, so it might be very convenient. And this park and ride should be free, and it should be in our space, it should be out of the city. First, we're gonna go find some water. First, you need water. And some LPG, maybe quickly. Yes. Okay, let's do that first. And that's where we're going. We're going to Pizzy Knock, 13 kilometers from here. Stop dilly dallying. Let's get to Bratislava. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, all dressed up, ready to go. Yes. And then we're going to try and catch the next train, yes, which yes. is theoretically supposed to depart in uh, 13 minutes. <laughs> to Bratislava. Okay, let's bring... Bye, Mali! It's Mali! There's the sign. It's been a long time since we've um, <laughs> done this kind of thing, eh? Such a busy station. Busy station, sunny, lots of oh, cool. activity. Oh, cool, look at that. That is quite pretty. We go outside. Yes. This is in charge of the, the tour. But to get you to actually follow me is a whole you. different story. But knowing Lisa, she's going to choose the most back alley, dodgiest little tracks. After an hour, we're going to be hot and sweaty. After an hour? After, uh, after, after an hour. 20 minutes, we're going to be hot and sweaty mm. and wondering what the hell are we doing and where we are. <gasps> this is it. It's the main attraction, attraction of Bratislava. You want to escape the tourists? I bring you to the places without the tourists. Oh, there's a bed here ready for us. <laughs> we really know how to pick a spot. Here we have it. Universe Happy <laughs> Intellect Yo. This is uh, Bratislava's Gaudi. Yep. Experience Hotel Martili Dome. What is this, Lisa? How cool is this? It's something very, very different. This is the alternative Bratislava tour. Look at the windows going up around the curves and... I've no idea what's going on here, but this is very creative. Looks a bit abandoned. Okay, fascinating. Now let's leave. <laughs> Are we going to have ice cream? Yes. So some cities you really need to look at the top five or ten things to see and do and other cities like this 
I actually just enjoy zooming into Google Maps and having a look at where I see something like a little park or a fountain or a statue and saying, okay, well, let's go there. And that's pretty much how I found this place. Oh, it looks like you can get, oh, did you pack a bikini, right? This seems like a place we can have a nice little dip. Oh, it's further than I thought. <laughs> oh, stinking hot. Look at that guy. Pretty slava. That's cute. I hereby present to you the presidential palace. Oh, this is in the hunt for a restaurant. Everything looks very good. Oh, can we get through here? Yeah. hot gallery. You see they're all wrapped in um, cling film. That's in Jordan's. These guys are really cool. Wow. Yeah, those are cool, eh? Nick neck shoes. <laughs> Found the backup option. McDonald's, McDonald's. Which one is the restaurant? This is where I want to be. They're open. Oh my god, they're open. Uh, it says closed. What does that mean? Sunday closed. Well, this is disappointing. Cool street though. Very cool street. Slovak pub, Fetsak. Let's quickly pop into Fetsak. Alright, this place looks like trouble. Okay, no, this might be a different dangerous level. No, this is definitely trouble. We won't be going here now. <sighs> no, the problem is this is a Sunday. A lot of places are unfortunately closed this time of the week. It's a very nice walking street. Ah. I definitely smell something sweet. <laughs> I'll teach you only Slovakian word. Zatvorene. <laughs> It's closed. closed. Loads of little bistros here. Zatorene. <laughs> How cool is this actual functioning mailbox? Let's get a go. That was blew it off, babe. What do you think? Look at the shoes. Mm. Cute. That's cute. Thank you. Breakfast of champions. Are you close? It should keep chocolate, me happy. Please. Oh, God, it's not boring, I'm chocolate. It's like a real you know, Sunday. We're sitting down, drinking a coffee. A lot of places are closed. I guess in a way, it's not bad if it's like quietish. Then you sort of appreciate the different vibe of the place. And there's lots of shade to walk in. Mm. I'm appreciating that. Like it's a big city. Half a million people live here. Mm. Uh, it's an old city as well. Wow, look at this. Look how cool it is though. Alright, here we are, Old Town, Bratislava. Quaint little winding streets. All I see is ice cream shops. Restaurants. Definitely everything seems open here. Well, not everything, but. Such a pain looking for food. I don't know, that's why I hate it. And frankly, sorry to say, I'll be the Grinch, I'll be the realist. Very often it's just not worth it. It's like you sit down, you commit yourself to an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. You're going to spend ladies. a lot more than you want to spend. You're probably going to get semi-mediocre food. Unless you're really spending big bucks, and even if you do, it might not be that great. Lower your expectations, maybe just go for something that fills the gap. No, I want to try something local. I know what dishes I want to try, uh -huh. and I want to try them. Even if I get disappointed. Good. There you go. The main square. Lvanne Namesti. This is really beautiful architecture. Something we do do every now and then is a free walking tour of a city. Bratislava is very organized. They've got a free walking tour almost every day at 10 o'clock. They've even got a website where you can book your slot online. And it's a great way to get to know a little bit about a city as well as see it and meet people. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it was, um, uh, oh. Now I have no idea where we are. I was going to point out they already had ice cream. This is what happens if you take me out before breakfast. Oh my god. Second ice cream before breakfast. What is happening to this world? Oh my god, this is good. We said yeah. Same price as this morning's ice cream. A mm. Two euro cone. This one isn't a sugar cone, but it's good much better cone. ice cream. It's a good cone as well. Cheers. Oh, nice. How's your salted caramel? I tried yet. Mm. We can always just go to McDonald's and fake it. <laughs> you know, we don't have to tell anybody we went to McDonald's. We are not going to McDonald's. We're gonna go to McDonald's and then we walk up. It's like fake walking out of a fancy restaurant. I go to McDonald's when I need to use the bathroom. Man, this is a cool city actually. I really like it. I like the trams, I like the buses, I like the trains, mm, I like I the, the greenery the vibe of the city. Lots of walking streets, little shops, very, very nice. 
This is beautiful. Looks like a place you can enjoy. Wow, this looks like a city I could live in. Very, very nice. The thing is, why would I go out for pasta? <laughs> no, can't go out for pasta. I'm Italian. The best pasta is made at home. So how about I take you to a brewery? We're only in Bratislava for a little while. I think we should go to the brewery and try some Have local burger. dishes. Local dishes and beer. If nothing else, the beer will be good. Okay, cool. This is how it works in this relationship. Would you like to know what I'm ordering for you? Back at the river. Oh, cool. Look, you can walk at the bottom. That is so cool. This is bleach fetish is showing. Wow. Ooh. It's not ah, every day you bridge. see a bridge with a steel beer. That is so cool. Stay at the bridge like weirdos. <laughs> It's a cool bridge. Interesting, this is typical Andre and Lisa fashion. Look at the train stop and I look at this part, which is the furthest part. And I say it's only two and a half kilometers. That's not so bad. Well, it took us six kilometers to get here. That's how <laughs> zigzag we walk. I don't know why you dragged me <laughs> into this topic. It's you in charge of this. Uh, I want to still walk up there though. On the bridge? I think so. Oh, let's do it. to the coastal grounds, it's free. The museum requires a ticket, but you can see the gardens without a ticket. And you get a beautiful view from up here, so it is worth climbing the hill. I tell you what, you take these stairs, I'll go around. So first. I think I need another ice cream to make it up here. Ooh, ice cream field, walk through the gate. So you can go up the stairs, then you're there. You need to pay to go into this area, yeah? Oh, do we get to there if we go up? Yes, you, so you can see the gardens. Uh, okay, let's do it. So we can walk around and take the, that path. Okay, let's do the stairs. 66 steps, that's not so bad. Oh. There you go, how was there? I lied, 75 steps. <laughs> such a nerd. Okay, maybe it is worth it. Good grief. Higher and higher, oh, there's a barge. Uh, no, this course is not original. I think it's been rebuilt. Uh, it's 12 euros to go inside. Now, there's a few people here. <laughs> but it is actually quite pretty. It's smaller than I expected. Definitely recommend it. But yeah, it's cool. It's uh, take the effort and walk up to the castle. Definitely. If you want to go into the museum, it's uh, optional. There's Very enough nice. to see here without going into the museum. Beautiful it's views beautiful. over the Danube, over the city. Lovely. Almost didn't do it. Mm. It's too lazy. Almost. Almost close. You can even bring a picnic up here. There's enough for gardens. Mm. I might just inhale this beer. That is a beer. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Got into the beer. <laughs> Unfiltered uh, lager. Mm. Uh, this is very nice. Very nice. I love my alley. This one is the traditional dish of Slovakia, yes. It's called Brinzovze Halovski. It is potato dumplings with special sheep cheese and bacon. On the other side, we have some dumplings, which are potato pastries, they describe them as, filled with sheep cheese, dill, sour cream, and bacon. Each of these dishes was 10.50. Could have had a lot of beer for these meals. To, to <laughs> ask, tell me that this is not a racket. This should be like- Five euro. Given free with the beer. <laughs> <laughs> and the giant feels with 260. <sighs> you may be disappointed, but it smells good. And I'm looking forward to trying it. Mm, it looks a little bit like a um, risotto porridge. Mm. It's possible? very hearty, but that is nice. Yeah, I don't know, whatever this is, dumpling. Mm. And 
It's an awful yeah, dude. With some cream. This is very tasty. Some sprinkles. Interesting, like acidity. Mmm. I think it this cream. The cream cheese. Cream cheese. <laughs> it has a dumpling dumpling. Reminds me of um, some of the comfort food. Very different. Do you think how delicious that burger would have been? We would have had a beast of a burger for you. I do agree. Tell us what we should have eaten in Slovakia. Where we should have gone and what we should have eaten in Bratislava. Juicy burger. <laughs> Andre said he loved the dumplings so much he just wants more dumplings. Bratislavski domace bobaki. You can also get them with poppy seeds but we chose to go for the crushed nuts. I asked if it was really sweet and he said yes. No, he said not that sweet. Oh. Underwhelming. Anyway. Oh, this one's a little disappointing. One liter of beer later. But anyway, it was pretty relaxing, if nothing else. <sighs> One dumpling too many. No such thing. <laughs> so cool. What have you done? I bought her something. I bought us a cat for the camper. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> cool, how cute is that? Okay. <laughs> Back on the train, we think we're on the right train this time. <laughs> These tickets cost one euro twenty per ride, so that was four eighty for the both of us return. Maybe we should add this is a single ride ticket, so you can't transfer with them, and it depends on this number of zones. So if you want to transfer, you have to count the zones from Pezinok. You, you need to spend about two fifty to have like a ninety minute transfer zone if you want to use the buses or the trams, or you can get a all zone day pass which is going to cost you about eight euros. That was only 4.50. No, that's limited to zone 100 and 102. Uh, so if you're in the center of Bratislava uh, and you don't want to go outside the two zones, you can get a day pass for, around, for under five euros. Mm. Don't forget to validate your ticket though. Mm. If you do the day pass, obviously that's not necessary, but if you do single tickets, you must validate them before you bought them. Otherwise, train police. How pretty it is my way. Right back. <laughs> it's quite cool arriving at train station and being able to see Milly. <laughs> Always a relief, doesn't matter how many times you do this. <laughs> well, that's partly why we did it this way. Because this is a secure, guarded, lit up parking lot. Uh, and at least we can leave the van here with some confidence. Eh? Best way of seeing a city, to be honest, because yeah. you can just see it carefree. Clearly, the day has been too long. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, these city things are always a bit exhausting, but it's good fun. I suppose in a way, it would be nice to sort of stay in the city for a while so you can explore it in a more different way. But, you know, when you travel by motorhome, it's a little bit of a compromise. I'm glad we did get to mm. see Bratislava. Obviously, we really didn't get to see very much of Slovakia at all. No. It's a country that we will return to that we really want to see a lot more of. We're leaving <laughs> Slovakia ASAP. We're heading north, getting hot summers come and gone almost so we need to get north <laughs> if you like the video smash the like button share it with a friend leave us a comment thanks for watching as always guys we'll see you next time bye Ciao. <laughs> all right good night